Okay, so we're gonna perform a manicure. So the first thing you need is to make sure you wear your protective uh, gloves and your mask. Make sure that you cover yourself. And uh, goggles or facial um, covering. Then you're also going to make sure that all this, the things that you use are sanitized, uh, disinfected. So we're gonna be using a um, bowl with water, soapy water. Um, I have the polish, nail polishes. I have hand sanitizer. I also have a cotton. And I have some astringent, just in case that um, an accident happens or I need to clean to remove the oils from the nail. I have a cuticle oil, cuticle remover, a nail polish remover, and then I have here, I'm gonna use an emery board. This is an emery board, right? These are disposable. I have a nail buffer. These are also disposable. Orange wood stick. This is called orange wood stick. I have a metal pusher, disinfected. I have a nail trimmer or clipper in case I need it. Have a couple um, nail nippers to cut the excess of uh, cuticle and I have the nail brush, okay? So, the first thing you're gonna do is, uh, I took already my client to wash hands, and, um, but anyway, you always wanna have their hands sanitized. So you're gonna give them hands, some hand sanitizer, and you as you will. You can sanitize your hands, please. Sanitize your hands. Okay, so now uh, I'm gonna grab some of the cotton, uh, but I'm not gonna grab it with my finger because it can get contaminated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a little bit of the lid and just pull a bowl of cotton with the orange wood stick. And I'm going to apply some of this um, polish remover over the trash to the cotton ball or you can use uh, the little squares or rounds, cotton rounds, and you're gonna remove the nail polish. So you're gonna place this for a few seconds and leave it there, and then bring it down. All right, to make sure you remove all the polish. So don't go back and forward, don't um, go side to side, it's just one way down. Go into the other two, leave it here for a couple seconds, and then I bring it down. So don't rub it back and forth, just go once. Or twice you see you still have some red the red is the hardest color to be removed so you have to be very um, careful not to use the same piece of cotton around because this is gonna be difficult to remove okay. so once you remove the nail polish you're gonna remove all the nail polish and all the fingers. She has some shine here. So I'm removing. Okay. Have some left on the sides, but as I worked my way through, this will come out. Okay, so finish, this goes to the trash. Then my next step is analyze the hands, making sure they're um, completely workable, that there's no diseases or fungus or anything wrong on the nails. Then my next step is going to be to file the nails. I'm going to file the nails using the orange wood stick, going from corner to center and giving it a shape.
one way only. I'm going very slowly so you can see how I'm doing it. And the roughest side or, or coarser side will remove the length of the nails. And the finer side, which is the white one, will mainly just um, um, smooth the nails. See, so I start from the little finger towards the big finger. It's gonna be her left hand. So it's gonna be my right to my left. All right, so once I finish filing the nails and giving the shape that she desired, I'm gonna buff the nails now. So this buffer has two different sides, have the dark and the white and the, sh the gray, the gray is the softer side. In some cases, um, some people likes to, um, to use those blocks, buffers to buff the nail, which is also good to make it super smooth. This is falling down. This little black part is coming off. Okay, so once you finish with this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Oh! I'm going to put her hand into the soapy water. Put your hand into the soapy water for a few seconds while I do the same thing to the left hand. So on the left hand as well, I had to remove the nail polish. I had to remove the nail polish. I have to, um, then I'm gonna check and I'm gonna file, use the orange wood stick and use the buffer as well. Once I'm done, this hand will be here for like a few minutes, right? So if I finish, I remove move it out of, the, out of this container and I will dry her hand. So I have different layers of uh, towels. I put the different layers of paper towels so that way whenever I finish with one, I can go ahead and just throw it away. All right. So my next step is gonna be to apply the cuticle remover. So here, let me see. Another little piece of cotton. Okay. All right. So I pull out a little piece of cotton. But I'm gonna use this little one first because I wanna clean under the nail. Okay. So I put some of this. I can use the same soapy water or I can use cuticle remover and wet it and then clean under the nail. With this, you're gonna take a little bit of time making sure you clean from the center to the corner. Um, but if the nails are very uh, dirty underneath, you may want to use a um, cuticle remover to make sure you clean, clean it very well underneath. Okay, you finish, you throw this away. Um, you take the cotton away and now what I'm gonna do in the other side of the orange wood stick I'm gonna grab some of this some more um, cotton and I'm gonna wet it with the cuticle remover so I can go over the trash and wet it making sure there's no spills over your station and once you wet the cotton you can go ahead and apply it and keep continue applying the cuticle remover this way and finish this goes to the trash this cotton goes to the trash now I'm gonna grab my nail pusher and push the cuticle back 
So you wanna make sure that you go flat from the corner towards the center of the nail and uh, making sure that you remove and push back the cuticle. Some people has their cuticle very tight at, to the nail, so it's gonna be difficult to remove it completely, but what you have to do is just uh, push it back as much as you can, clean around any um, excess of skin, dead cells, you just clean it over the paper towel, then later we throw it away once we finish. So you push back the cuticle, push back the cuticle, making sure it's clean. See, there's a little bit more cuticle here on this finger. She has more cuticle than the rest. And once you finish, you're gonna cut the excess. For example, right here, I don't see that much of the cuticle lifting. You're only gonna cut if you see any any skin lifting. But if it's not, not lifting of the skin, you won't need to cut anything. Right here, you can see it. So you just trim this excess of skin. Don't pull, just cut. See, this little tiny bit of skin. And what I do after I finish cutting, I grab a little bit of cotton and apply a little bit of astringent just to prevent any um, infections. So I'm gonna go over the, the trash and put a few drops of astringent over this piece of cotton and apply it over the fingernails that I just cut the cuticle just to prevent the growth of bacteria. This goes to the trash. And now my next step is go ahead and apply a little bit of oil, cuticle oil. I can go over the trash or over the, the bowl and apply oil into the cuticles. Pat it, pat it, pat it. And I let it wait right here while I do the other hand. Once I'm finished with the other hand, then uh, let's say that both hands are already, I already pushed the cuticle, I already applied some cuticle remover. So I'm gonna grab my brush and make sure I clean up um, each finger with the brush going down. Don't go back and forth, just down to remove any excess of uh, of debris or oils, chemicals, and clean it. All right, so once you clean this, what you're gonna do next step is to give it a massage. So I'm gonna use some of this cream that I have here that smells like strawberries. She likes the strawberries. So I'm gonna warm it up within my hands first and then I'm gonna apply it. So, I'm gonna apply it over her hand. And I'm gonna go with the fingertips first. Give a massage, going up. Then here, going up in circles. And here, going up in circles. All right, then I grab fingers here, massage slowly. Massage between the fingers, slowly. Massage between the fingers. Okay, go here in circles, circles up. Turn her head up and I'm gonna keep going to massage. A lot of people comes because they like to get the hand massage. All right, so once you finish, uh, you wanna remove the excess of oils. 
So I'm gonna grab a little bit of uh, polish remover, wet it in a piece of cotton, and remove the natural the oils that I just applied with the cream over her fingernails. Because if the nails have oil, it won't, um, the polish will not adhere well. So then we're going to have another problem. That, And that's one sometimes the reason why uh, the nail polishes don't stay. Make sure everything is clean. Then I'm gonna apply um, there you go. The base coat. So I have here base coat. I'm gonna apply a layer of base coat. The way I do it is I hold it this way with the same hand. I hold the polish and I hold the brush. Then I use my pinky. And place it here and I begin my application okay give me the other finger please so you don't have to apply too much a light coat of base coat will be enough just you want to make sure you go into three strokes see the center side and side that's it don't keep going back and forth so many times because that's not gonna help you. So you go one, two, and three. All right, finish. Now um, I'm gonna grab the color. You want this one or the pink? Okay. Uh, I guess the pink. She wants the pink. So when you mix this, don't go this way. What you have to do is move it at, uh, this way shake it making sure everything gets I cannot open it because my gloves have a lot of cream oh my gosh Let's see. okay here we go Hey, this is a little too dry maybe that's why I'm not gonna use this too dry okay if the polish is too dry don't use it change to another one so then that means that we're gonna use the red um, you can use polish thinner if the polish becomes too dry but I will suggest you to never use polish remover trying to make um, more liquidy your polishes okay what you're gonna do, do over here is to clean the excess you're gonna use the orange wood stick do not use your fingers or nails especially you cannot do it since you have gloves so see right here remove the excess of polish from your container and then apply it over the nail push it back and then you go forward push it back forward and push it back forward see three strokes if you end up applying a little bit to the skin just use your um, orange wood stick same thing over here back forward back forward and then the other side back forward clean up the excess right away before it dries up and you can use one coat or two coats of polish depending on the color how much coverage it has the polish does not have to be over the cuticle, not neither over the fingernail. 
I mean, not, not the finger, the skin around the fingernail. So here, down, 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 especially when you apply the red. Okay, so you finish your application of your polish. Now I'm gonna apply the top coat. And I'm gonna do the same procedure. Start from that side, which is gonna be my right and her left. Three strokes. Try not to make it too heavy. You have to make it very light. If you put a lot of pressure, what's gonna happen, you're gonna make lines under the polish that you just applied with your brush. And that's when the color comes out uneven. So once you finish, you're going to go ahead and clean around um, the nail if you haven't left any any uh, polish especially this color you can use a brush like this dip it into the polish remover and let me see I saw some over here and clean it Make sure it doesn't have no polish underneath or in the side, that everything is looking clean. And you're done with the service, so she just had to wait until the nails dry. In the meantime, what you're gonna do is, uh, this water, you're gonna throw it away and sanitize, disinfect your container. Um, this brush, this all these metal implements have to be disinfected you have to wash it in soapy water and then immerse it into the disinfectant for 10 minutes make sure you dry it before and all the files emery boards they're gonna go to the trash this will go to the trash and uh, the brush uh, you just going to disinfect it as well together with this your station uh, has to be uh, everything has to be thrown away the the towel paper the paper towels regular towels uh, has to be thrown away you want to use probably a disinfectant spray right and uh, any of these bottles that you use in case that you don't feel comfortable you can spray it with disinfectant spray right and clean the lids all the time, especially now that we have um, all this uh, disinfection. Get up, get, take out your mano. Get, get, take your hand from there. Um, disinfection procedures. Uh, we touch everything, so we want to make sure everything gets disinfected properly, including the containers and tables and everything. And that's pretty much about it. In case of an accident, if somebody bleeds because you cut too much, always have a stringent available um, so you can apply it over the, the skin. So that way they, you prevent the growth of bacteria. And that's about it. Thank you.